guys, this is a little Handy Breeze 8 inch stationary desk fan. Um, now, before I get into the fan, you may notice I'm not in my normal filming location in the basement. That's because, well, I simply just didn't feel like going down there. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm lazy. Anyway, um, so this is this little fan. I got this one actually over the, this past weekend. Um, and I got it at an antique mall in Pennsylvania. Me and my family went on a bit of a day trip there. Um, and we stopped at a few places. There was a thrift store and there was a salvi that we didn't stop in. And then there was, um, a couple other places that we didn't stop in either. We didn't have time, but then we stopped in, well, the thrift store had some interesting, like they had vintage fluorescent lights and two old, uh, footprint vent cane bladed ceiling fans installed but they didn't have anything any vintage fans for sale they just had a modern lasco pedestal fan and some unbranded six inch uh plastic desk fan that i really wasn't interested in but anyway we stopped at this antique mall that was really big place i swear to god this place just kept going and going and they had a lot of cool stuff there um there was a maytag ringer washer there were a couple old telephones um, and they had two fans, um, and this was one of them. The other fan that they had was one, I think it was the same size, eight inches, but it was, it had a green base and motor, and it wasn't branded, so I don't know what brand it was. It may have also been a Handy Breeze, um, but I have a picture of it on my Instagram, so if you want to see that, <laughs> just go and, yeah, you'll see it there. Anyway, and that one was more expensive, too, and it was in, I think, I mean, similar condition. I don't know. Uh, but this one, I got this one. I don't know why I chose this one uh, over that one. I think it also was price had to do with it, but I don't know. I just kind of like this one. So, um, this fan was made sometime in the 1940s. I'm not exactly sure when. Um, I don't really have a date for it. Um but it does have a stamped blade. Um, I don't know if this is steel or aluminum. I think it might be steel, and I, I say that because it is a little rusty, and aluminum doesn't rust, it corrodes. The base is cast iron, as is the, I think the motor, mo motor housing is stamped, I think, but the base is cast iron. Or maybe it's not, is it? No, that is cast, yeah. Maybe not cast iron, but it's cast something. Um, well, here's a side profile view of it. You can see it's a very simple construction. Um, there are no screws that hold the motor housing together. It's actually held by this um, this uh, sort of clip here that uh, fastens onto the neck bracket, or that actually is the neck bracket. It fastens onto the knuckle, and um, this there's compression on here from the butterfly nut there and that compression is what keeps the motor housing shut. This fan is also unique because it has a switch on it. Now most, this is what we call a drugstore fan or a throwaway fan, uh, at least at the time this is what that was. And it's cheaper construction, definitely not as high end as like an Emerson or GE or Westinghouse or other big name fan like that. But it does have a switch on it, which is kind of interesting, because you don't see many of these throwaway fans with uh, switches on them. And it's a single uh, single speed switch, it's two positions, this is a single speed fan. Um, now the cord here is not original. When I got it, it had a it did have a rubber cord, but it was crumbling and cracking, and the bare wire was showing everywhere, so there was no way I was going to try to use that. So I replaced it with this gold... Uh, lamp cord, just replacement lamp cord. I would in the future like to get like a nice cloth covered replica cord for it, even though I know it didn't originally have a cloth covered cord, but I feel like it would fit the style. Um, now the plug that I have on here is a vintage, a vintage plug right there you can see, and that's because that's the only one I had. I was going to try to reuse the original plug that was on the old rotten cord because it seemed to be in good condition but I could not figure out how to get it off of that cord. So I couldn't use it. 
Anyway, you can see right there it has the hole for wall mounting, so you can wall mount this fan. And then on the back here is the back motor housing, and there's the bearing right there. Um, so yeah, uh, holes are very big, so there's good ventilation to the little shaded pole motor in there. And the badge is on the front of the blade set. It's actually like um, fastened on there. So there's the badge. It is Handy Breeze by Chicago Electric Manufacturing Company. Type ASU. Patent number, I can't really read it, 1,917,289. Made in USA, and then there's information about the electrical specs there. So yeah, has a nice wire cage here. The blade can come out of the cage at the bottom here. However, I can't get the set screw on the side of the blade loosened, so I can't take the blade off, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So now let's go ahead and turn the fan on. So I will switch it on now. It's a little noisy, it does rattle a bit when it's getting up to speed, but once it's up to speed it's actually kind of quiet despite a little bit of rattling. Sorry for the shakiness. But for its small size and cheap nature, it is a really powerful little fan. Also, one thing I like is the switch has this little indicator to tell you when it's on. There's like a dot on that part of the switch. So I'll turn it off, spin it down. And one thing I also noticed after oiling this fan is it has an excellent spin down time. It tells me whoever had this fan, obviously, before the cord rotted out, took good care of it at least. This might be one of the best spin-down times in any of my fans. And isn't that convenient? It ended with the label facing upright. <laughs> okay, and now um, I guess I can try to catch up the startup sound on the back here. So I'll turn it on again. shaft spinning. Switch it off. You can't really hear the startup sound very well through the rattling. I don't feel like waiting for it to spin down. I'm going to stop it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, another thing I did is I added some uh, felt pads on the bottom here, just to sort of minimize vibration, and um, I also, the original rubber grommet there crumbled, so I found a replacement. It looks okay. But anyway, I think that's about it for this video. So that is the Chicago Electric Handy Breeze Type ASU 8-inch stationary desk fan. Thank you for watching, and more to come.